travel. Get home safe. It's a domestic plane, don't worry. We got as much as we could. So we got Chloe's barbell, a couple of plates for her. And we got our indoor outdoor chairs, as my mom would like to say, for our sanity. Some warm clothes, right, Chloe? Mm -hmm. What else? Pretty much it, really. Couldn't get too much <laughs> more. We'd have to spend like a couple hours here to, we'd have to unload the actual thing and then load it back up. Chloe and I just got home. We unpacked our groceries, brought some of the weights out. So I'm gonna just stay parked in the driveway for the first time. This is our fridge from the, the lockup. We got it about two weeks ago, we brought it back. So this is Chloe's and mine fridge from any other videos you might have seen with our fridge in the background. Um, we brought it before this, luckily just with us living with the in-laws, um, just to have extra storage. So I'd like to show you now what our extra storage is going to look like for this lockup. So we got our Max Apple Slider, Spates Dark, we got some IPA, we got some Peroni, Zero for the Fauno, down here we got more Peroni, and we got some Steiny Pure. We got some champagne, you know, a little bit of almond milk, cheese, lettuce. So we just, we figured because the liquor stores we said here are closing, it makes actually more sense to just do this now. And it looks funny, because I, I spent 200 bucks on alcohol in the last two days. But in saying that, I mean, that's for almost five weeks. Who knows how, much we'll need to drink being five of us within this lovely household um, and I mean if this limits us from going out we're fine and it was not we weren't even the crazy ones so we only bought uh, a couple of ciders yesterday for Chloe and a 24 pack of beer and then today I just bought 24 of something else and a couple more cases so we haven't bought a lot but some people are doing like 10 cases of beer they're buying like 10 gins or vodka, like they are loading up. So that's probably not even that bad of a fridge at this stage compared to some people's fridges that we probably don't even want to look into. Or do we? Well, eerie feeling. You're not hearing too many cars or noises at the moment. We had our lovely um, warning here. Let everyone know locking is happening so we are in just had a good tea chloe's made a nice dessert of uh, banana bread i just done the dishes and enjoying this beautiful evening real windy i'm not enjoying the wind but just made a coffee felt like i'd come outside have a little sign off uh, get up in the morning and do another video tomorrow of a workout i'm not sure where Depends on the weather, but uh, I might make this one a two-parter. So have a good night, stay inside, be safe, and again, make sure to stay connected. So check on those that, um, your loved ones, your friends, neighbors, just be good during this time and have a good sleep. See you in the morning. Yeah. Wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, Ted. Here you go. On the busy, busy streets of day one. eerie very eerie like this is a very busy street and there's no one there or the way we're walking I'm in bikes and stuff there's some people out walking which is good you're supposed to be out and walking and biking and getting some fresh air and exercise but this whole thing is creepily eerie just walking Ted we uh I've done my morning video and then I did tomorrow's one already.
today surprise just because it might rain so I want to try and get one or two um, done so that I can just upload them those days for everybody and then had some food so it's good uh, not sure what we're gonna do the afternoon I'd like to do my look at there's people he's not social distancing going with the smoke in his mouth having a cruise uh, just gonna do some schoolwork just a little bit I'm gonna upload some of the school leaders applications and then I'm going to do maybe like 20 minutes of reading of my course. So that's my plan so far for today. Set a list. I have four things. I've done two of them. I need to do two more. And yeah, something I've accomplished. So feel good about that. What are you going to do today, Chloe? Pardon? What are you going to do today? Spa. Oh, I can't go in the spa because of my tattoo. Look at all these cars all of a sudden. Oh, I guess we're at the uh, BP, but all these guys having cruises around. Why not? It's a beautiful day. Now nah, the one looks like a worker, so just make sure you stay in, stay safe, stay healthy, you know, stay fit, stay active. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the uh, videos I'm putting out uh, workout-wise. Um, I'm enjoying doing them, and I'll keep doing them as long as I can for the next four weeks, but... You guys too have to make sure that wherever you are in the world watching this one, you're safe, you're healthy, both mentally, both physically. So take care for now. I'll catch you in a little bit. We are back already, but I just showed you that mother, like way too many cars out. People are taking the piss at the moment. We've seen way too many cars, anyway. That mother right there with her daughter. She is teaching her daughter how to ride her bike on the road. We could hear her instructing her on how to be on the line, how to go in, how to approach cars, what to do. That is what the social distancing should be about as a parent coming from a teacher. Teach your children some essential skills, right? That is absolutely amazing. Right there, I would high five. I'm gonna social high five that parent way down in there in the distance. Some other people I really hope are doing similar things, teaching your kids how to cook, how to bake, how to look after maybe the lawnmower, the grass, cars, whatever, you name it. That right there, parent, awesome. Thumbs up. Well, third workout for the day. This one's my own one. I'm going to do, I believe, I'm gonna do 50, squats with the 30 kilo um, slam ball. I think uh, I'm gonna try and do bear hug. I was debating between on the shoulder or bear hug. So I'll do 50 um, bear hugs. And then I'm going to do um, five lengths. So like one, two, three, four, five of handstand walks. I haven't done it for a while. I have these on just because it's gonna be grippy or not grippy, but prickly prickly because it's dry prickles. Um, then I'm going to do 50 uh, kettlebell swings and then I'm going to finish with 50 banded curls. So it's just a small little chipper. So I've already done two things. Um, I just It's so beautiful and if it's going to rain the next couple days I want to relax in my zero gravity chairs um, and have a beer too. So. Yeah, might as well get to this one.
Not happy. We're proud of that one. I didn't realize between the dumbbell bench yesterday, the push-ups today, all the, I, I couldn't hold it. I haven't done handstand push-ups that bad in like two years. Her handstand walks, it's horrible. Started getting frustrated. I ended up doing six lengths just to get an extra set in. But there you go, the next four weeks, I'm gonna master this backyard and handstand walking. First time I've done kettlebell swings in almost a year. When I hurt myself a year ago at the Crusaders comp. First time I'm doing kettlebell swings. Hurt. That was good. I needed to do something just for myself. That was hard. That was hard. I won't use the excuse. I'll learn from it. I'll make sure I'm fatigued more often. And I'll better my handstand walks because of it. So, yeah. I'll make that weakness into a strength over the next month compare this video to that video by then oh i'm gonna set up the uh zero gravity crack open a beer because i deserve it after that be smart coley might go in there later i might try and get in with one leg out i'm gonna save lives by soaking the sun up and having some beer be safe yeah.